using properties of inequalities. When we work with inequalities, we can usually treat them similarly to, but not exactly as we treat equalities. We can use the addition property and the multiplication property to help us solve them. The one exception is when we multiply or divide by a negative number. Do so reverses the inequality symbol. The properties of inequality. Addition property states that if you have a is less than b, then we can add c to both sides. And a plus c is still going to be less than b plus c. The multiplication property tells us that if we have a is less than b and c is greater than 0, if we multiply c by both sides, then we can get ac, which is less than bc. And if a is less than b and c is less than 0, then we need to flip the inequality. So let's take a look at this. So for the first one, let's see, we know that 7 is less than 9. Okay, so if we add C to both sides, meaning if we add 1 to this side and add 1 to this side, then we still know that 8 is going to be less than 10. Now let's take a look at this scenario, okay? Let's say if we have three, which is less than five, and if C is greater than zero, so if we have a number C, let's say times two, and then we're gonna multiply five times two, then that gives us six, which is less than 10. So it works here. Now I want you to pay close attention to the next one. So what happens here is that if we have a number, and let's say that we have um, 4, which is less than 9, okay? And then we want to multiply both by a negative number. So let's say we're going to multiply this by negative 2, and then we're going to multiply this by negative 2. So we end up getting now negative 8 less than negative 18. But that's not true because negative 8 is actually greater than negative 18 on the number line. So what we need to do is we need to flip the inequality. So therefore, we're going to write negative 8 now is going to be greater than negative 18. So it's only in a scenario when we multiply or divide by a negative number where we need to flip the inequality. So these properties are also going to apply to a is less than or equal to b, a is greater than b, and a is greater than or equal to b. So example three, demonstrating the addition property. Illustrate the addition property for inequalities by solving each of the following. Now the addition property for inequality states that if an inequality exists, adding or subtracting the same number on both sides does not change the inequality. So over here, we can add 15 to both sides. When we add 15 to both sides, we get x isolated on the left side. 4 plus 15 is 19. And the statement says that x is less than 19. So we plot 19 on our graph. And we can see here that it's going to be less than 19. So we're going towards negative infinity. So our interval notation would be negative infinity to 19. For part B, we are going to solve for x. So we can add 1 to both sides. So we get 7, which is greater than or equal to x. Or we can rewrite this by putting the x on the left side, the 7 on the right side, and the arrow is pointing towards the x. So we can see that x is less than or equal to 7. So at 7, we're going to have a bracket because it's inclusive, and it's going towards negative infinity. So our interval notation is going to be negative infinity comma 7 with a bracket. For part C, we have x plus 7, which is greater than 9. We're going to subtract 7 to both sides, and therefore x is going to be greater than 2. So there's our number line. We have our number 2, and that means it's greater than 2, so we have a parenthesis of 2 because it's not including it going towards positive infinity, which gives us the interval notation of 2, to infinity.